That's right, they're back. The one, the only, the legendary Chocolate Bunnies from Hell. Chocolate Bunnies from Hell. Ladies and gentlemen, if the Americans fuck it up again, I say that we all, we all get together. Look, I'll take your names. We'll make a big list. We'll go down to the United States. We'll take it over. So it's nice playing a fucking kicking rock band. And just, you know, metaphorically kick them in the ball. They're so talented that when they get together, it's not really, a lot of times, it's not really, they're not really trying hard because they just, uh, they, they interact so well that they just, just comes in out of their heart. Like after doing this last recording, it sounds to me like they're actually a sort of a bunnies kind of sound, you know? I mean, I guess there always was. I just feel really good about, really good about the sounds we're getting right here. Yeah, there's a whole musician uh, horoscope, you know, and uh, and they and if and if you're not that way, then you're probably not any good. Do you want to know what they are? Yeah. Okay. Keyboards are uh, they're in a world of their own because they don't need they don't need anybody. They've got bass and and uh, melody, you know, on their own. Jules is great. Uh, she does the keyboards, of course, and uh, she's sort of like the little sister in the band. I always sort of put the, like the family. And then the uh, uh, the bass player is uh, laid back, you know. They're laid back, but they can, you know, take a strange angle at it. You never know. Jay's got this mask thing. Jay's sort of like the younger brother, the cute younger brother. All the girls like them, and blah blah blah. Oh, Jay, Jay, Jay. The guitar players are rock stars. Uh, Clayton's the older brother, the older uh, son, who's the uh, the guy that's a troublemaker and get into trouble. He's the wild one. Drummers are fucking crazy. I mean, anybody that wants to make a living smashing the hell out of stuff all night long, man, you know, may have an anger man, or, you know, some sort of a, or the you know, primitive, you know? They're either that, or they're the guy that does the money. It's not like a holiday for them. They're, they're performing and they're not even trying, they're not even sweating, except for Brian, he's like, oh, are they gonna pay us? Are they gonna pay us? Oh, blah, blah, blah and uh, uh, lead vocals are egomaniacs. That's right. But I used to be drums, so I'm a crazy egomaniac. There are absolutely no rules. The PJ, PJ is the father. Shut up. <laughs> PJ's the father that's got to Shut set up, an example, and he doesn't. <laughs> and, but they just get together and party, and uh, it's a lot of fun. They're corrupting me. Yeah. Very, very few people, you know, actually um, are able to, you know, make make an actual living out of it, you know. And besides, you know, the bottom line should really be the artistic pursuit. But I think that most people that really that really achieve their for their primary the primary thing in their soul, I think, is that is the artistic achievement. That's what I think, really. I think I'm more more positive about it, you know. Thank you. We are the buddies. We are from hell. Hopefully, I'll also be able to find a fire breathing.